It could be the final map of Dawn of Legends. Mutants stand on match point. I'm Leg Day, joined by Jace. Hello, hello, and it's been a great performance from the Mutants so far. They are up three to nothing. They're going to have to lose via reverse sweep. If the Craniacs want to complete the amazing comeback, then well, can we go to a chicken shop afterwards? But for now, it might be the Mutants sending them for a nice chicken sandwich early, which is DCJ is really putting in the pressure with this front line. Like they comps have stayed the same throughout the tournament. Yeah, it seems like the dominant That's comp across all of the best teams. Uh, we, we did see the attempt at the GOATs come through from LH Cloudy's SR peak check, but unfortunately they met uh, they met Wholesome early, and despite giving Wholesome some trouble, were unable to really bring it home. And Ant's forced to give away the early off angle here and just rejoin the team. That's going to put a lot more damage in towards Pela and uh, Dust. Yeah, and what that I'm probably going to see out here from the mutants is just going to wait for potentially either Vinny or TTK to grab their ultimate. And if that doesn't work, then Nuke and SJP can combo together to just completely rip through the tank cooldowns and either force a response or force a retreat. Let's see. Look what happens if we see a less than ideal push as well from Dust. Just forces so much from the healers in terms of attention when they get double dinked by Ant after not being able to force Ant off those angles. Speaking of which, Ant also going all the way back around again. We'll be able to take out that respawn beacon. Likely is going to use it to prelude the push here from SJP. But SJP smells blood in the water, looking for a victim. But for now, there's just too much of his payload in the way. Frost taken out. I don't even know where he was. Maybe it was a rogue missile that managed to take him out. Moving forward with an eye of Agamotto. That is a huge amount of resources used, but they are paying dividends. Wisp is the last to fall after using their ult to survive. And honestly, this is a, this is a very fast take coming through from mutants. Yeah, they're going to have to trade it for ultimates because four were committed in that last fight, but I'm sure they don't mind in particular. SJP's ultimate was a little bit early, but I just think just forced so many cooldowns out, particularly from the, the uh, from Dust and Pella. They just had to walk away. And in the end, I think actually Reverse managed to accidentally double jump and pop themselves up nicely for SJP to put a bullet straight through their head. Dust has killed GTK there, I think. So yeah. no strange. Or the side of the mutants. Beautiful wall from Bela to make sure that there was no healing available and no disengage that was viable. Oh, huge wall here. This might catch Vinny inside, but it's forced to disengage themselves as we don't have LOS from their supports. Cal's going to be able to troll the high ground here in a very effective way and continually use this. And goes behind, though. Brings out the ultimate. Focus fire is good. Focus fire is strong. Wisps forced to move down towards the ground. One shot between them. And it's going to be Wisps who ends up hitting it as Cal relieves the pressure elsewhere, using their ultimate to remove all of the help that could have been offered to Ant. Yeah, flurry of ultimates. Both sides committing two or three there in that fight. And in the end, when the dust settles, it's just Cal being able to DPS check. There was no ultimate available for SJP to mirror the amount of damage. And yeah, Punisher once again demonstrating exactly why this hero was just so, so good. Oh, what the angle onto Vinny. Uh. Oh, that's disgusting there from Cal. Managing to get the headshot with the shotgun. Plenty of damage amplifier given over. Oh, and towards the back. Oh, it's going to be oh. ran down here by the supports and Wisp in tandem. But while the supports are running that one down, that means no attention for Cal, who will fall but be instantly brought back to life by that resurrection beacon. Yeah, I think Dustin Cal are um, taking from their, from their old game here with this off angle on the high ground, really just getting the poke down to come through, but SJP's got an ultimate of their own. Huge amount of damage there. It's the Amp Dust never stood a chance for same for Pela. And they are absolutely devastated. Frost? Did they bring down their own ultimate there? No, it's Nuke who bought that one out. Might well have been a copy from Frost. Yeah, it was Frost copying. After already two ults have been used, this is an attempt to clutch here coming through from the Kaniacs, but I'm not sure if it's really well considered. Dust is just going to have to die on cart and potentially get some ult charge, but honestly, Frost, not the greatest play there. Oh, death to the smoke grenades. Ah, smokes yeah. a bitch. Uh, Wisps are going to be doing the same, just throwing themselves onto the cart to try and stop the push. But now... Again, we, we feel like we mentioned it every map, the snowball that can come through for both of these teams is so crucial, it's so important, and, and how and why, mostly, for this point, it's going to be all on Vinny, being able to control these choke points with the walls, he can effectively seal them off to deny the angle. And they're looking to flip map, but Vinny's walls basically deny them from doing so. Map is flipped, but this also does mean that Wisps is going to be isolated over here. Still, this does mean the TCK won't be able to get a sneak attack on their eye of Agamotto, but they were truly desperate for and does offer Cal a little bit of high ground in terms of advantage. I am Groot used. Eye of Agamotto dodged by Cal. Now, this could be the turnaround that's necessary. Look at this. Finally, everything's coming up. Kane. 
Yeah, there we go. Chicken force, well and truly being poured all over the enemy team there. Wait, this stun might just be massive. Oh my god, it was. It could be from TTK. Grabs Wisps, grabs Reverse, and everyone else is gone. They were distracted by Vinny in the back line, the designated survivor on the tree, but with Cow still here with the shotgun. Could find themselves an angle. Oh, there's what they were looking for. The Rocket Raccoon. The, the wrong time, the wrong place, and the wrong gauge put into their skull. Uh, the mutants are almost spoiled for choice. I thought they were going to flip it. TTK lands a massive eye of Agamotto. But everyone else is almost spoiled for choice. The target photos did not come down properly. Everyone's shooting different members of the Taniacs and basically caused all of them to live on 1 HP. Because when they got out of that ultimate, they said, hey, let's kill the strange. And they did. That guy had a PhD and absolutely dying first. Speaking of dying first. There's one amplifier coming through from the side of Frost. SJP able to do tons of damage, but taking some in their own right. Everyone just needs to back away for a moment. They can't stand up against this Punisher damage. Wait. Down goes the ult Wisps, taking out Nuke, the most popular, the most valuable pick possible. Oh, getting away as well, using the Crow, the perfect time destruction. And it's just forced to disengage here for the side of the mutants. Maybe starting to flag a little bit and could be one. Will you be able to chase this? No, the crow away is strong. Oh my God, it's greedy, but it's valuable. And falls down from a brave flank of wisps. Yeah, the start of this fight just felt like a classic wisp play. They were an owner of a railgun in a previous life. Let me say that. And using those skills absolutely perfectly. Peeking at the angle exactly the right time. No one was looking at them. They found headshot after a headshot. They could find another one onto SJP. And they are just lambs to the slaughter for wisp right now. An attempt to zone, SJP res, they can't touch in time. That's why we saw the early aggression come through from the Kaniacs. And now finally, for the first time in this grand finals at Dawn of Legends, we see the potential for Kaniacs to pick up a map. Yeah, really feels like they got the hang of it there when they weren't able to be smothered on the off angles, particularly with the Hella. It just felt like the... That sniper from Wisp was the, the start and end of everything that they wanted to do. In particular, um, the, the good ultimates that have won mutants so many maps so far, like they were really denied. Like the last three or so maps, I can recall a dozen times where Vinny is able to land like a five man grab with their Grutal. And I don't think they found anything this entire push yeah. with the Groot. So, really starving the value off of the two types of Vinny and TTK. And again, as much as the playmaking comes out from the damage focus characters, the Hello and the Punisher from one side, it's the CC from TTK and Vinny on the opposite that are really their go button. And well, that go button was forcefully ripped out of them and, I don't know, thrown away, kicked to the curb, whatever simile or metaphor you want to use, because it was just not allowed to happen. Their PCs were turned off there. Honestly, this VOD is going to be a treasure trove for analysts looking at how to figure out this game in its current state. Obviously, the meta's likely to change between releases. The but damn. characters as well, right? Yeah. Probably Three, likely be released. Two, but crazy stuff thus far. Ant has been shut down thoroughly. Five and five right now. And we know Ant to be one of the best duelists on Hell of what we've seen in the entirety of this tournament. Yeah. They just can't get an angle. Anytime they peek, it's a shot from from wisps and potentially some healing to come through as well they've been warred a couple of times by Palo as well really interesting usage of that wall and it's been very very effective so far on this map i'm, I'm curious to see if mutants trying to just anything or they just keep trying to play default they keep trying to play neutral okay dust with a fake portal here maybe and seems to have got somewhat bugged out on it but at least it's attacking the fps of everybody in the lobby down to 30 now that might impact the aiming a touch as Dust just moves forward, uh, definitely a more front-to-back approach here, even with the portal being used. And 40 seconds have fallen down already, but a lot of space has been given away by the mutants. Yeah, and it feels like I really don't want to see them retreat into this tight room, because then the group gets all the walls in the world. And has finally woken up, gets a pick onto Wisp as well. And they're still chasing this, actually. SJP looking to go in. For the rest of their team, dying around them, that is not what you want to see. Oh, Cow's already got themselves an ultimate as well. They can't give up too much space because the Resurrection Beacon is so close. Frost is going to be the beneficiary of that in this case. Is there enough time to move forward? Reverse has the go button. They've got a slight window here, Jace. Just a window is all that they need. SJP zipping down Wisp on the angle, though, really paying attention to that Hella now. The Ajimoto comes in and it finds three oh from TTK. Oh my god, TTK is just the one. And that's the Amplify from Reverse at the worst possible time. 
I oh. mean, the time to kill, the time to kill was absolutely zero there. What a lethal alternate. Yeah. From the Doctor Strange, as we said before, a PhD in absolutely murdering everybody. PhD in violence. How about that? That's yeah. how he got his doctorate straight from the university. If anyone can catch these hands. Yeah, looking a lot more Doctor Hyde than Doctor Jekyll right now. And catches a little bit of poke here. Oh, that forced out the flight there from TTK to disengage after a nice wall. It's a narrow angle to try and play off of here, but it might well be enough as Cal forces forward. But remember, in a bend don't break defense. Oh my goodness. Here it comes from the side, moving through the window. It's a totally different game as Frost is trying to play from the other angle as well. There are so many targets available and so much damage being thrown out between these gamers. Sees for Hella up in the air. Can't quite finish her out in time. Ant manages to take out Wisp. And now Dust has to decide, do I commit to this? The Eye of Agamotto in the back pocket. With this many of my friends dead, is it worth doing? Cal's been resurrected. So maybe the numbers are becoming a little bit more nice. Harvey's fallen down. Courtesy of Cal, but reses themselves off the back of the resurrection beacon. It's perfectly done. The Groot ultimate is fire from Vinny. And with a minute left, Kaniacs have been kicked to the curb. Yeah, Vinny effectively resets himself here. They die for the cause. It's a massive grab again. I talked about it going into this round. How many big stuns have we seen from the group this map? There's one, and there's one when it matters. And we thought that mutants potentially might be leaving the map here. But, I mean, I don't know. you got to beat them first, dare them to lose. Looks like they're in a winning situation here with 40 seconds left on the clock. Like they're in very healthy regards in terms of ultimate and overall HP. High risk plank from Wisps moving out using the ultimate. Forced out the shift already coming through. If they can take oh, out no, that. Oh, they're too deep. Ijax. It's too deep. The Ijax from Dust. Wisps is dead too. The amplifier once more is unable to help with those who had already been committed. A double dash from reverse, trying desperately to get away from the angles that Ant wants to control. Cal on the corner cannot win with. A shotgun the pocket is strong from nuke and once again nuke is so good at the rocket raccoon just the one and only uh, this could be it the final fight of the tournament as the mutants look to wrap up a 4-0 and a very dominant impressive run they've got this portal covered and cal has to go big here all eyes on the form over what's being played they get taken down by harvey oh at range shots through the portal shots too many it's harvey winning those again the eye of agamotto separates soul from body and bullets separate life from flesh hell is unleashed in the name of the mutants and let me tell you this, no Sentinels can stop them. The mutants are going to be able to take all of this for sure as SJP takes down their counterpart. A 4-0 in favor of mutants, undisputed champions, and the legends that have dawned for Marvel Rivals. Congratulations to them. Absolutely disgusting performances from all of them individually. So, so good. Congratulations to them. Well-deserved. Run through a hell of a bracket in your champions, the mutants. Well, 